right, what's up guys, KSKRL here. Welcome back to another video. This is the first official look of CR Droid 6.0, one of the fastest Android 10 custom ROM, which completely transforms your phone to the next level. I made a few Android 10 custom ROM videos on this channel, and none of them are in quite stable, even the Pixel ROM, which is still in beta. But anyway, in this video, let's talk about everything about this high-performance ROM, CR Droid version 6.0, based on Android 10, running on my Pocophone F1. Let's get started. Alright, first thing first, let me quickly show you the version which I'm running by going into settings about phone and here you can see the CR Droid version is coded as 6.0 and is based on Android 10. If I tap on the Android 10 version, I get to see this new easter egg. When it comes to kernel version, it uses the Optimus drunk kernel which is actually super good with Android 10 and helps running the whole system without any lag. It also comes with the latest Android 10 security patch level which is so good to see. Now when it comes to launcher, you will get the default quick step launcher which is super fast compared to a pixel launcher. It helps to launch the applications much faster and it does support the Android 10 system wide navigation gestures. We all know Android 10 brings a system wide navigation gestures which completely eliminates the need of software keys. These gestures are so cool to use in Android 10 and it increases the speed of navigation throughout the system with few swipes. Now, swiping up from the bottom center within any application will take you to the home screen, just like that. It's so easy to do it and it's so fantastic. And swiping up from bottom center and holding up for a second will bring the app switcher. Now what about the back gesture? With the elimination of the back button, no, you no longer see any kind of back button. All you need to do is swipe from either left or right within any application will take you one step back. I mean seriously, these navigation gestures are damn smooth in this ROM when get compared to any other Android 10 custom ROMs. Also, multitasking in Android 10 has been taken to the next step. Check it out, swiping either left or right from the bottom center will quickly help you switch between multiple applications and games seamlessly which is fantastic. These navigation gestures are sort of murky and won't work as intended with other Android 10 custom ROMs. Now to enable these navigation gestures, head over to settings, system, gestures, then system navigation and change it to gesture navigation. and that that's it, now you have enabled navigation gestures. This ROM also comes with some core settings that helps to customize your Android 10 system so easily. For example, we can add more options to restart menu which lets you quickly boot into system recovery or bootloader without the need of volume buttons. As of now, you can only see a few options are available and we can expect to see more options will be added in the future builds of this ROM. Now when it comes to dark mode, you can now toggle the dark theme from the quick tile menu without going into settings. This works with some third party applications like Google News, Google Photos, Shajam and more. When it comes to basic functionalities like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi hotspot, OLTE, LTE, fingerprints, everything works fine. As of now, UPI applications may not gonna work like the Google Pay, Phone Pay and you have to wait for a few more bills to come out. Now talking about the performance, as I told you this is one of the fastest Android 10 custom ROM which delivers a very smooth experience on your device. From big applications to small applications, it handles the task without any hiccups. I also played heavy games like PUBG, Call of Duty, Asphalt and Legends and the gameplay was super smooth without any frame drops. Lastly, when it comes to battery life, I would say I'm getting 4 plus hours of screen on time usage. Again, these statistics are sort of absurd at this moment and I keep sharing my SOT on my community page. Overall, I would say definitely this ROM is meant for gamers and currently it is the best Android 10 custom ROM which you can install it on your Pocophone F1. In future, you can see more devices will be supported by this ROM. If in case you want to see a dedicated gaming review with this ROM like playing heavy games, let me know in the comments down below. Also, if you want to know more about this ROM, check out our website where you can find the step-by-step -step installation guide. You can find the link to our new website in the description box down below below. That's it guys, thanks for watching, I hope you liked this video, if you do then hit the thumbs up button down there and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and consider clicking on the bell button to get notified.
Peace.